Teleunión Latina, uniendo los latinos a nivel global. El cuidado de tu cuerpo, el cuidado de tu piel, no es para que esté en manos de cualquiera. Es algo muy delicado, es lo más importante en tu vida, es tu salud, es tu vida. Los profesionales de Skin Wizard, con más de 20 años de experiencia y en la misma localidad, ofrecen la tecnología más avanzada para un cuidado individual y para una piel siempre joven. Llámenos para una consulta gratis al 305-285-0075 o visítenos, estamos en el corazón de Cora Gables. Hello everyone, my name is Chef Q and today we're going to be cooking with Chef Q and on our show today we're going to have salmon in a straight jacket prepared over a velouté. That's right, you heard me right, salmon wrapped up in a straight jacket which is thin potato slices and we're going to prepare that with a velouté sauce, very thin potato slices which we have cut over here which we'll show you how to do, clarified butter which is very simple to make at home and of course mo the most important thing uh, the potato that's going to wrap this particular salmon and of course the star of our show Chilean salmon so in just a few moments you two can be able to prepare this at home welcome back to our program this is the local chef cuisine enjoy we're preparing salmon in a straight jacket today and I'm going to show you the simple ingredients that it takes to prepare this dish that we made in our restaurant first Chilean salmon you can get that at your regular fishmonger it's a beautiful fresh fresh fish, it doesn't smell fishy. If it smells fishy at home and you, you're buying it and it smells fishy, don't buy it. Leave it there, walk out, because a fish that smells fishy, you don't want to buy. We're going to have a little flour, all-purpose flour, clarified butter, which you can do in the microwave if you don't want to mess around with doing it, skimming it off the, the stove. A large Idaho potato, and we prepared some bell peppers for decoration. And of course, I did some slicing already with our mandolin of the potato. We're going to have a little white wine with this dish to make a velouté sauce and um, brandy. And our roux, which we're going to make for you right on camera so you know how to make a roux, which is a classic French technique. And that's just about it. Brought our chicken stock and our fish broth and we can get going and get started right now. So don't go away. We're going to do a basic roux for you, which is the principle of our sauce, which is velouté sauce, which is combined with fish stock and chicken broth. Okay, you can use canned or buy bouillon if you don't want to go through the hassles of preparing chicken broth and fish stock. You can cut all those corners and you get the same salt. Now, a classic roux is flour and butter. We're going to melt a little butter in here. One, two, three, we throw in the butter. Let me disregard this over here. And we're going to put a little flour in here once this melts down a little bit. We are heating up our stock, which is, again, chicken broth and fish broth combined together. We're also going to add a little bit of white wine and brandy for a little flavoring. You know, that other chef, Emerald, goes, let's kick it up a notch. I'm going to take it to the bridge today. So we're going to really have some fun. So we're just melting the butter right now, as you can see. Get that really creamy because we want not a thick Cajun roux like they have in Louisiana, but more of a creamy so it comes out light. There won't be any creams used in this particular sauce. Uh, you don't really need to add more calories to this dish because it's pretty flavorful as it is on its own. Now let's put in some, uh, some of the flour. Now you're going to need a large spoon because I'm going to show you how to get the lumps out of this particular dish because it can, it can get lumpy, the roux here, and you want to just mix it around and a little more. Let's add some clarified butter into that too. Let's get this nice and creamy. Work the edges of the pot so you get it in there. You want it creamy, not lumpy. Add a little more flour. Almost like a, like a honey consistency, but just a little thicker than that. Remember to go around the edges. There you go. 
Butter is almost completely incorporated into the flour. And you could do this by eye. There really isn't a set method. You could use five ounces of flour to a, a half a stick of butter. Now you see, this is a consistency we want. Simple and creamy, and there are no lumps. You will also need a whisk for the next step, which we're about to do, and that's going to be adding our broth, which is right here. We're going to add this in. It has to be boiling hot, because that's how you want it. Put a little bit at a time, and we start whisking. And this starts to get really thick right now. So we add a little more broth. Ah, it's spilling a little bit, but that's okay. That's the kitchen. And that's going to happen at home also. Happens in my restaurant a lot. Add a little more. Keep adding. You want to really, really smooth this out. Now we're going to put a little wine. There you go. Want to make this a very happy velouté sauce. Ah, it's looking good. It's getting to the right consistency. See, it looks very creamy, almost like if you're using heavy cream, and we're actually not. Oh, this is really going to be a happy sauce. Mmm, God, I hope you can smell that over there. We should have smell of vision Everybody will be jumping through the screen right now. Our roux is ready. It's been boiling for a few minutes. All the flour is cooked out. It's all incorporated. We're going to put it through a strainer right now. So just in case there are any lumps or any other little particles that we don't want in our final product, we can get it right out. You can get these strainers for $1.50 anywhere in your supermarkets, and they work just great. And as you can see, you know, there are some little bits there that we don't want, because that'll make our sauce not perfect. And of course, we want to be perfect for our guests and friends and loved ones. Uh, we're going to reserve the velouté right now, right here. We're going to leave it until we're ready for service. We're going to move on now into cutting the salmon into the portions that we need, and we'll be right back. Welcome back to our program. This is Chef Cuisine. Enjoy.